What up, YouTube? It's J Mo Cichlids, and I got problems. All right, YouTube. As you can see here, if you look closely, I got a problem with brown algae attacking my aquarium. Um, I cleaned it once. I got a good brush and brushed it all off. And within two days, it was all back again. So after doing some research and watching other YouTube videos of a couple of friends, I went out and got myself some Seachem Fosgard. All right, so as you can see here, I went and got me some Fosgard. Let's put this stuff to the test and see how good it is. Cause I don't like this brown algae and Jojo don't like it either. Ain't that right, Jojo? Yep. All right, so let's get this water change started. And um, I'm gonna scrub down this background and the rocks, break down the FX6, and get this in there. All right, let's do it. All right, YouTube. Um, now that I got a lot of the water drained, I'm gonna go ahead and break down this FX6 and uh, start scrubbing these rocks in this background of the brown algae. Now, I still use buckets, even though I got my um, my python holes. I still uh, use another siphon in my buckets because it, it just goes a lot faster for me. Uh, so that's why you see the buckets here. Uh, I got this brush here, and I also have this one. But this one is not a. Uh, the bristles are not strong enough. These are, so I, I kind of struggled with this a little bit, but this one got the handle on it, which makes it a lot easier. So I just need to go and buy another one with stronger bristles. So I'm gonna have to put in a little bit of work today. This brush works great. I just got short, short arms, so. All right guys, so I went over the rocks in the background with the brush. I got a lot of that brown algae off of there. Um, now I'm about to go ahead and take care of this FX6 and get this Fosgard in there. So there's a little bit right there on the corner. I don't mind a little color, you know, give it a, a natural look. But you know, we gotta, we gotta take care of that brown algae because it will take over your tank. Then you get the furry, hairy looking algae and then after that, you know, then it can be harmful to the fish, so. Um, we gotta t attack that brown algae rather soon. Okay, let's get to the filter. All right, so I got the FX6 broken down, and this is really not bad at all. Um, it's fairly new. I um, I got it set up. January 1st, New Year's Day. So, this is looking pretty good. So, I'm going to just wring all of this out. Rest it out real good. Pinky filter still looking good. Uh, 
Uh, I got the false guard. Got to rinse this off before you put it in the filter. So it's just best to just use the tank water. You can, man, I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can see like the residue of dust coming off of there. This is Jimbo Sickles, Daddy, and you want your palmation. Yeah, she still got that in her head. All right, YouTube, I'm filling the tank back up. I got the false guard in. Um, the false guard goes in the middle tray of the FX6. I'm sorry I didn't include that when I had it out, but I got my daughter with me. She was distracting me a lot, and I really couldn't concentrate like I wanted to on the video. I had to tend to her as well. But, um, yeah, the way it was explained to me, that it goes in the middle tray of the FX6. Uh, so... I'm going to let this go for a few days. Like I said before, when I cleaned everything off, the brown algae was back within two to three days. So if it's not back in two to three days, I know that the Fox Guard is doing its job. Um, but I will be posting another video, giving y'all an update on it within another week, just to show y'all uh, how it's coming along. So, all right, I'll holler at y'all later. Shout out to Chicago, Loyola, and the tournament. Why not? Might as well pull for them to go all the way, right? Hey. All right. I got to get back to my daughter. All right? Later.